Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and today I'm going to be bringing you some multiplayer that I did on a map that I've never actually been on before with IR and his Ford Ranger. We did some logging, we did some actually, well not necessarily logging, but uh, hay bale deliveries and knocked out some lumber mills and stuff like that. And I just wanted to go ahead and apologize for how the face cam is a little dark. For some reason my, uh, my light that I use wasn't actually working when we recorded this, so I do apologize for that. But I hope you guys enjoy these videos and... Uh, and the rest of this series. Oh, you've never been here. Um, and I didn't mean spawn locators. I meant, um, what are they called? Uh, watch points. Um, yeah. I'm kind of looking. Two, which are, yeah. I mean, I see you got a log kiosk, log station, all that stuff. I've, getting, I've gotten rid of the two that goes along the route that I'm probably sure we should taking six mils <laughs> jesus six mil god that's that's a lot you don't have to do it all i know how does by the way how the heck is this thing supposed to carry like eight points uh code like i literally have two different uh files that say this should have two points this should have four points and this one should have eight points and it's literally just the same mesh just the same model of the haystacks oh okay so it all just goes in the same truck okay that makes sense because i was trying to figure out how that was actually supposed to make sense and i couldn't so but it's gonna be like eight points for each one uh you go you go in front because uh... I feel like since you've at least done a little bit of exploring here, you know where you're kind of going. I have no idea where I'm going. I mean, you did say there was a little bit of trailing here, right? Yeah, there is rocks. Okay. Can we turn down here? Can we go down here? Uh, I don't think that's a I mean if you want to just cut it we can we can cut it I mean it's funny because like depending on who I play with some people will just be like yeah the thing I'm trying to get to is over there and so they'll just go straight whatever they need to get through they get through and then there's other people that are like dedicated on staying on the trail they're like if you're not staying on the trail then you know, then then there's not really any point in, like, the gameplay of the map. And, like, I kind of get both sides of the story. You know what I mean? I mean, like, trailblazing's fun, but, like, staying on the trail's kind of fun, too. Yeah. And I like these maps by Remo. He does a great job at putting trailing and, and logging together. See, you never really see that much, and it's kind of nice to see it together. And that's part of the reason why I don't log very often is because... Everybody always wants to trail ride, and nobody's trail riding maps have lumber. Yeah. But at the same time, I mean, like, that doesn't make me mad. That is, like, doesn't make me mad or anything. I mean, I love the trail riding, but, I mean, the lumber adds a nice, like, extra element to it. That 6x6 six six can't haul any lumber, right? I don't think so. I was going to say, like, I don't think he really has much of anywhere to put it, unless... I mean, he does, but, like... I don't think he would have modeled it, especially on a converted mod. If it does, I can carry four and you can carry four. Yeah, no, I'm down for that. But if I can, if, if that can't carry any and I can carry eight, then you can just be my support rig if I roll over. Right. Well, or to be fair, I mean, that's only really half my support rig because if I roll over... I lose the points, I lose the load. All you can really do is flip me back over and have me go back. Um, for some reason, because I have that rack, uh, where you have to have the rack to put the load on, if you flip your, if you flip that thing, the load, you don't lose it. Oh! It's weird. I mean, well, that's convenient, I guess. <laughs> it's convenient, but yeah. It'd be nice. Cool. So, to by the way... To have it not since since I have you here and like I'm, I'm actually kind of curious and I know we talked about it a little bit but how much of this ranger did you make like from scratch scratch um the body 
like the whole body, mm -hmm. like literally the whole body, everything except the bench seat in there. I couldn't find out how to do that right. Oh wow! But the whole body, the grill, the Ford logo. That's a texture though. Yeah. Um. Did you make the wheel and tire package? No. Okay. Uh, the axles are not mine. Mm-hmm. They're from SketchUp. Mm -hmm. The leaf springs I modeled. Yeah. The frame I modeled. The oh. engine I the engine I got from SketchUp. Which speaking of speaking of Which you speaking of you can right. open the hood on this engine or, or on this truck. I just haven't yep. done it yet. So I'm gonna try it and See that is like it's properly cool like just to be able to open the hood and actually see something there because most stuff For one you can't even open it and for two Even if you could open it. It's just like a pixelated mess at least in this truck. There's actually something physically there Yeah, and open it again and take a look at the fan the fan no way, I didn't actually spin the camera around before the fan actually moves. That's really cool. I'm trying to look. Whoa, the pulley moves. Not even like, not even like just the fan, but the pulley itself. I was actually like, I thought only the fan moved, but I was like, oh crap, the pulley itself moves too. Yeah, I can make all the pulleys move, but with the engine, because I have a code in it to where it shakes, when you're at high RPM, mm -hmm. uh, it's not attached to it. It's like stuck in midair, basically. So the pulleys, so the pulleys start floating, basically. Yeah, but you never notice it. So. Yeah. If I could, I would make the freaking belt belt go around the pulleys too yeah that would be that would be really cool i mean i feel like there's a lot of things that that a lot of you guys like a lot of modders want to do that the game sort of limits you on i mean that you kind of wish you could do yeah and i talk to people in discord all the time in the snowrunner discord and even on youtube I find stuff on YouTube where people are ranting about, oh, the modding community can't do this, and I'm like, dude, that's out of our hands. It's not like y'all's fault. I mean, it's, and to be fair, it's also not like y'all haven't tried a lot of that stuff, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. Like, y'all have tried to make, like, you know, a lot of weird crap work. Let's see, haystacks. Oh, literally example, two, four, and eight. Okay. For example, Bragle, if you remember that guy, he did everything. Yeah, I do remember. Some of the best mods ever. I do remember that name. Yeah, because I drove a bunch of them. All right, so we're just gonna go straight up the trail that we came down from. Oh, we're we okay. On it, up to the lumber mill in the top, in the northeast corner. Uh, let me see. Northeast corner, the one between. Okay, yeah, the one with the one watch point between us. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna. Uh oh, I'm in reverse. I go ahead and stick behind you. I really like what you did with the hay bales. I mean, at least it's like, at least it's, it's something. Different. Yeah, I was gonna say, at least it's different. At least it's not like, you know. It's not logs. <laughs> it's not logs again. Now, when it comes to Snowrunner, I know that there's like some new stuff that's. There's a lot of new stuff that's been talked about. I mean, like we've all talked about it we've seen it at this point you know in terms of like customization and you know like a currency system and stuff like that um but like i wonder how some of that's gonna be taken on by the modding community you know what i mean um like i'm curious as to how mods and customization and a currency system are gonna work together with each other i mean i don't know if you have any like personal thoughts on that like but I would just be curious to know your opinion because I've kind of been asking everybody in terms of modders, like everybody that I get the chance to talk to, I try to ask. Yeah, either the dude that made Spintar's mod is just gonna make a hack to where we have infinite no money, or just disable the money altogether. Most likely, that's what I that's what I figure. And the devs really don't like Spintar's mod. They're okay with it, but you know. 
you want you want your people to stuck on the be stuck on the uh, base game. Well, I mean, yeah, they don't really. I mean, they don't really want people to have the dev tools, and I get that. You know, the the dev tools are not really like something they want out in the open. But at the same time, I feel like they have to understand that, like, especially when they introduce something like a money system. If they want mods to work efficiently, they're going to have to have ways to turn stuff like that on and off, you know? Yeah. And they got to realize that without Spintar's mod, the way we have it right now, we couldn't do as much stuff that we could be doing. Well, yeah, that too. I mean, and they've, they've already said in plenty of very, very much so public statements that the modding community is one of the main reasons the game still exists. <laughs> So, that's been a thing for years. Yeah. But even it wasn't until recently that they started like actually, well I say recently as in as in like within the past year, a couple of years or so that they actually started, you know, saying out there to the community like, "Yes, not only do we recognize this, but we recognize the fact that it it's a major driving force with our game." Trying to be like, uh oh. Trying to be kind of easy with this. It's weird because when you come off of playing without spin mod all the time, and then you go back to playing spin mod again, you find yourself having vehicle damage anxiety, and then you realize there's no need to have it. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I'm still like, I don't know. I guess, at least to me, like, at least when I go back and play the base game, like, I'm still partially mad as to how lethal they made the loose rocks. The fact that that can literally tear a truck to shreds if you go more than what feels like 10 miles an hour is super annoying. Well, that's how it is in real life. It's a rock. Well, I mean, yeah, but like, You're that's... Not... I'm talking about the small crap, not the... Not, oh, yeah, not... The little ones? The little tiny, like, I'm talking about, like, the stuff that looks like gravel. You know, how that can, like still tear up your truck like a bigger rock would. And I'm not, you know, expecting to be able to smash my truck into, you know, into big rocks at 30 and have it be fine. But, like, the stuff that looks like gravel, it, that that stuff's kind of annoying. Yeah, I hate that. Uh, although, although, I do think it's a little cheeky when modders will, like, they'll find modders or map makers or whatever will find us you know they'll have a section of map that they deliberately don't want you to go fast on and they'll just pepper it with the small rocks so you can't oh, that's part of the challenge yeah i do dig this map though oh yeah it's really badass i mean i feel like I feel like it kind of reminds me of those uh, of those maps that you used to see a couple of years back because is it I almost feel like is it just me or did there used to be more more maps that were just as like large scale is the is the wrong well sort of the right sort of the wrong term but I think that like large scale maps have kind of like people have kind of backed off from them a little bit and they've kind of gone in the way of like trying to fit more into a smaller space which there's nothing there's nothing wrong with that i just kind of i kind of think there might be a difference in the way i don't know the way map making is going at least lately yeah so what some modders do i don't know if risky's told you this before but or told you it already but uh if you go on a certain site that uh, gives you a map of it's like google maps but you can download a height map of it it's like a topographical map yeah yeah then put it in photoshop render it in a way that the editor can read it import it into the editor and that terrain is there for you to use that is incredible and no i didn't know that it would be cool if i got into map making but map making map making and truck making is a little too much. I was gonna say, like, you end up, you're gonna end up splitting your time like a bunch of different ways. Yeah. I mean, 
if you did get into map making, I mean, I'm sure it would be cool, but like, I don't know. I mean, it, it would definitely be, it would definitely like be kind of one of those things where you could only spend so much time doing one or the other. Yeah, like Frog, you, he put out a couple maps, but now that he's into trucks and stuff, he can do all kinds of crap with trucks. I've seen him have all the doors open, all the, like the trunk on, on a car opening and everything. Yeah. All the animations pretty much but does that not like kill does that not like kill the game no not really not really if you have if you have way too many polys on a model then yeah that's what kills the game yeah that's true 